Welcome back everyone. I have a new project that I'm making for myself and I'm going to be using this temporary tattoo and I'm going to be making a tray because the tray that I've been using for the last year is not my favorite. It's one of the first projects I made and I never liked it but I just never made me another one so I'm going to take this opportunity to make me another one and I'm going to get this temporary tattoo on here and then I'm going to paint this tattoo in with these colors, just like I would on a, I don't know, color changing mica powder. I'm going to just paint with these powders. And then I'm going to, of course, you know I have to, you know I have to use glitter. I'm going to fill it all the way up with glitter. And we're going to see how this works out. So I'm going to be using, um, I'll link everything below, but I'm going to be using pink, green, yellow, and this beige color that's an eyeshadow that I got from the Dollar Tree. And so first I'm just going to take a paper towel and I'm going to wet it. And I'm just going, to, well, first of all, don't forget or it's not going to work. There's a thin piece of plastic on the tattoos. I got these on Amazon. A whole bunch came in for, I don't know, $10 maybe. And I've already pre-cut it to the way I want it to fit because it did go up longer. So I'm just going to flip it over where I want it. Now I will have to top coat this because when you put a tattoo on, when you're finished with it, and this is the side that we're going to be looking at, it's going to be sticky from the adhesive on the tattoo and then we'll just top coat it with a clear coat so to get this off we just dip a paper towel and saturate it i'm sure all of you who have kids know what this is because they all like to put on these temporary tattoos and you just saturate it until until it peels off i have one other video i use a tattoo on on a tray I can link that below if you're interested in that one. That one, I just kind of went crazy and I put everything in it. I put rocks and glitter and all kinds of things, all kinds of things. I put dried flowers and greens and it actually came out better than I expected. So do go look at that one if you'd like to make trays for another idea. So we're just going to soak this. Like I said, until it peels off. I don't know how long it takes. It doesn't take that long. And then you're going to want to dry your mold the best that you can. There it comes. See, that didn't take too long. I didn't fast forward or anything. I'm just going to fold that down. I knew it was a little bit big. I'm just going to fold it over the edge. Okay. Now I've got a dry tat or a dry tattoo. I've got a dry paper towel. You're going to want this dry before you start putting on your, your mica powders. So I'm just going to let it air dry for a few minutes before I continue on. Okay. It's pretty dry. And you can, you know, touch it without it moving or ripping or anything. There's no bubbles or anything. You can flip it over and see really where it's going to land on the tray. So I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to take some colors here and just start uh, dabbing them on where I want them. Now you have to be more careful because if you get out of lines, we'll have to clean it up with um, some alcohol. So I'm going to try to do this as careful as I can. I've never done this to a tattoo before, so I'm hoping we will see these colors through um, the other side once the resin is poured on. I honestly don't know if we will or not, so I guess we're going to find out together. I can't get into the bottle. So I'm just going to go ahead and put on a little music for you. 
while I paint this and speed it up just a little bit because this is going to take Clean this off with this brush. It's a little wet. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, but we're going to try it. Okay, I mixed up eight ounces of resin because I apparently that's what it takes. I wrote that on the mold. And I think I'm going to mix in several different glitters, as you can see. This was the original one I wanted, and then I kind of want some of this one in there. And then I'm like, oh, that one would be pretty too. So I'm just going to dump them in until it's pretty thick. I don't want this really transparent. I want this to, to shine. So we're just going to do one at a time and see how it goes. It's got to be better than the first one I made. You all know what your first project was, right? And I'm sure you've all gotten better since then. So it's just about that time. And I'll have to show you the one I made because I made it in gold and um brown colors because i have a very rustic home and that would go well in there but however i use it for my earrings and some pendants that sit on there at nighttime and because it's gold i can't really find them <laughs> very easily without turning another light on so i think if i lighten this up i will be able to find them in the morning the ones that i want that's my thought process. Whether it works or not, I don't know, but hey, it's got to be better than my first project. Let's get some of this one in there. Not too, too much of that one. I really wanted it opal. 
then I thought that these colors would help with the micas that I put in. And once it's poured in your tray, it's too late. There's no adding anymore. I mean, I guess I could bottom coat it if uh, I didn't like it and add more, but I think that's pretty good. Oh yeah, looking at it from the side, it's pretty, I'm just hoping it doesn't all sink, which I guess you wouldn't know the difference because you're not gonna be looking at the bottom of the of the um, tray anyway. So let's get this back here. And this is pretty straightforward. Let's just hope those colors come through that I spent so much time painting. I am going to just drag this around the edge. Dislodge any bubbles. I don't want any bubbles on the edges. I hope I was right with one cup because this is a lot of extra resin to find something to do with. I love the glitter already, you know that. One cup was too much. I have no idea why I have that written on here. I'm going to dome it a little bit, but I don't want it to seep over the edge. That's it. Nothing else is going to fit in there. So I have, what do I have left? I have a quarter cup left. So if you have this mold, it takes three quarters of a cup. So now I'm going to find something to put this in. So you're going to get a bonus unmolding, it looks like, tomorrow. All right, I'm just going to spray this with alcohol and pop some bubbles. And I will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> things cured but I told you I would show you my other one so this is the first one I made and it's not bad but it didn't come out like I expected the flowers I couldn't see after I poured the resin in there and then because of all the gold and sitting on my wooden bench I couldn't see any of the things in it because my um my side table next to my bed is uh is wood so with the wood underneath it's really dark so this is the first one I made. Of course, you know, the first thing I ever made was glitter. So that's that. That's why I wanted to have a white background, but also glitter at the same time. This was my leftover resin. I had two ounces and this jar takes two ounces for the bottom. So next time I have an extra ounce, I will fill the top with the same glitter and then I will have a little jar. So I'm just gonna get this one out of the mold before we do the main event. All right. So that's, you know, 
a little sinkage on the glitter, which I kind of knew would happen. I need to trim up the bottom because I was short just a little bit to dome it, but that's okay. That's that. All right, let's see how this one came out. I sure hope we could see the color. I hope I'm not disappointed. I do like all the sparkle. That's really what I was looking for. All right. Now remember, we do have to top coat this one. Um, I probably won't do that on camera. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It is bendy because I just did this last night. It's only been about 10 hours. All right, guys. Oh, you can see the color. That is perfect. Oh, I love it. Oh, I do. I love it. It is sticky. That's sticky because it's the the tattoo. That's I'm just going to pour clear in there. Oh, man. What do you think? Oh, I think it's great. You can even see the glitter through the mica powders. These, t these two didn't come out too dark. I kind of had a feeling when I was putting them on, but that's okay. Oh, man, I love it. I do. I love it. Well, thank you guys for coming in and joining me again. Um, please subscribe if you have not done so yet. I am so, so close to my next, my first goal, actually. So one button, please just give me that one button so I can hit my goal. And I will see you guys on the next video. I hope you guys all have a blessed day. Thanks for coming in and wait for